and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Skull Kenya and Skull Accra Ghana sign Numo. Skull Kenya and Skull Club of Ghana signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, on Friday, March 18, 2022, in Accra, Ghana. These two clubs consist of 209 members, executives and manager in various companies in tourism, travel, hospitality. Today, it is my honor to attend and witness the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between Skull Kenya and Skull Accra Ghana on collaboration and cooperation in the field of tourism, said Burchin Turkin, world president of Skull International and president of I Incorporated at the event. The objective of the MO is to develop and strengthen collaboration and cooperation between the two clubs in the field of hospitality, tourism, and travel based on equal rights and mutual benefit. This will be achieved through familiarization trips to enhance relations and develop initiatives, promoting tourism and increasing bilateral tourism flows, emphasizing cultural tourism, adventure and nature tourism, sports tourism, sun and beach tourism, and tourism organized for groups. Training, coaching, and mentoring with focus on growth of potential young skull professionals and students. Fast Track Exchange Program Emphasizing Better Customer Service Youth Empowerment Program Teaching Resilience, Mindset Growth, and Foundation Cross-Exposure Slash Internship Programs at Reputable Hotels, Tours, and Travel Companies Joint Promotion Between the Two Countries Through Seminars, Conferences, Exhibitions, Symposia, and Congresses this partnership is coming at the right time when the world needs to hear more of such collaborations where the goal is to develop and strengthen cooperation in the field of tourism between the countries. We, as tourism leaders, have the responsibility to carry the torch of light for the current and future generations slash leaders to come into the industry. The timing of the MO is critical as we are heading towards a new world with fast-paced technological developments after the pandemic. The new norms are discussed in many platforms, in tourism, we need to take the lead to set these norms, train the current and future leaders on these norms, and continue to create successful tourism sectors, added Turkin. Joining via this Zoom event were Skull Club of Ghana President, Stella Appentang, Skull Kenya Nairobi member based in Ghana, and Murungi, High Commissioner Rep. Of Kenya to Ghana, he Mr. Eliphas M. Barine, and CEO of the Ghana Tourism Authority, GTA, Mr. Akwasi Agumong. Special guests were Honorable Faz Rashid Ali, County Executive Committee Member, Minister of Trade, Tourism Investment, County Government of Mombasa, Ms. Fiona Njessa, Director of Market Development and Business Development Manager from Kenya Tourism Board who represented their CEO Dr. Betty Adero Radier, and Mr. John Yegon, Event Host, General Manager at Pride in Hotel Mombasa City who represented Mr. Hasnai Narani, owner and group CEO of Pride Group and Managing Director of Pride in Hotels and Resorts. Also participating were International Skull Council President, Julie Dabley Scott, Skull Kenya National Committee President, Mabob Harunani, Skull Kenya National Committee First Vice President, Shanaz Neki, International Skull Councilor Skull Kenya, Maureen Ogola, Skull Kenya Nairobi Immediate Past President, Sally Kavir, and Skull Kenya Coast President, Richard Kinua. Turkin included in her thanks, Madam President Stella and President Maybob, congratulations and thank you for your leadership in facilitating this partnership and bringing the tourism industries of both countries together while serving the mission of Skull International, which is connecting tourism globally and doing business among friends. More news about Skull. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or 
travelnews.online.